Um, when should automation be used? Certainly when uh, the, re the uh, customer's requirements for the solution, for the system cannot be met uh, by the out of the box capability, right? They're going back here again to bridging the gaps of something. When repetitive activities uh, are being done, um, you know, I, I always go to, as an example to this, uh, repetitive activities. Uh, yes, it's important that the right people uh, sign off on something, but uh, just as that individual identifying the person who needs to sign off is using some evaluation criteria, uh, there, that can be automated to where somebody does not need to be have a job of identifying approvers and reviewers of, of workflows and change orders. Uh, that should be able to be established via criteria and a utility that will automatically populate those, uh, those reviewers and approvers automatically. Uh, moving data from one system to another, uh, you know, AKA an integration. Uh, this is where, you know, somebody keying this information that exists in one system into another system. Uh, that's when something needs to be done because that person is human. It can, they can produce uh, fat finger problems and errors, which then cascade downstream to the business process, causing people to then stop uh, either A, build the wrong product or B, they stop because something doesn't make sense. And then they're, now they're uh, in an investigation mode, finding out where, where something went wrong. The other is uh, extending responsibilities to suppliers and partners. Uh, you know, if, if you are tightly coupled with strategic partners or strategic suppliers, um, and uh, they are an integral part of your business process, extending the information content uh, and uh, responsibilities of response of responsiveness to that supply base or partner base. Uh, is certainly a candidate for where automation should be used. Okay.